Okay, so now um, let's add a muzzle fire uh, effect to our uh, rifle to get it a little bit more uh, appealing to look at. Because right now when we shoot we don't see anything. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the... Uh, uh, let me see. When we are... Um, we're gonna add a fire uh, uh, effect uh, right here around the muzzle. Um, and we're going to just use a particle system for it. Um, and it's actually quite um, good looking. Uh, you don't need any textures for it. So it's uh, very easy to use. It's a, it's a very easy uh, technique. Okay, so let's go to your assault rifle, to your muzzle, and uh, let's add a new uh, particle system. Uh, if I type it right particle system okay now you get a preview here um, showing you uh, the effect of the particle when it's run um, okay let's change a few settings here first we need to uh, reduce this to the lowest amount it's like a 0 0.10 and let's uh, decrease the lifetime so that's basically the, the time the, the particles will live. So also reduce it to the shortest amount. And uh, let's see, we have to um, you have to fiddle around with the with the size a little bit. But I'm for now I'm gonna say something like 0 0.2 or something. Okay. Um, and now we need to change the shape of the um, basically the shape of the right now you can see the shape is like uh, uh, this cone but we're gonna change it to uh, a hemisphere now you can see uh, the way it looks if you look correctly and now just reduce the radius to make it pretty pretty small something like this so basically this is the, the fire uh, Maybe like 0.45, something like that. Some looks uh, looks okay. Yeah, and the emission, uh, we're not gonna uh, burst out. I mean, we're gonna burst uh, it out so instead instead of using the default rate. So just uh, put this one on zero and add a new burst and change this to like a minimum of like uh, well. Not entirely sure, but maybe uh, maybe twenty to thirty, or maybe ten to twenty. Ten to twenty, I think. Ten. We can change that later on. And now you can see it's going crazy, but that doesn't uh, matter because we will fix that later on. Uh, let's go down to the renderer, and now this is where it actually changes the way it looks. So let's change the random mode to a stretched billboard. Now you can see already what it does. It stretch, stretches out the, the those circles you see right here. But now it stretches them. And uh, let's change the length scale. So that's basically the length of it. Maybe uh, something like this. Uh, again, change it to the way you uh, we actually prefer it to have now to for for the coloring uh, let's change it over uh, let's see let's over lifetime so if you check it and then we are gonna click it and it opens up the gradient editor mm -hmm. and basically this is will um, it will change the color over life so it will start white and then it will go to white so it stays white right here but we, what we're gonna do we're gonna change it to like a, a like a more uh, yellowish color and maybe too white in the end uh, let's by if you click below here you can add in a new a new gradient let's put it around the center and make this color uh, like a little bit yellow something like this and the first color let's change it to like a brighter orange orangey oops now you can see already what it what the change does here um, something like this and let's reduce the alpha of the 
white right here uh, by clicking the top one and then you can like make it a little bit lower so it so it blends fade out in the in the uh, in the end maybe this should be a little bit more but well do it do it the way you want uh, want it to be maybe something like uh, like this you get a pretty pretty good uh, effect here already but we are uh, we will change it more maybe we need to reduce the uh, let me see maybe we could change the start size pretty low this is hmm. First, we're gonna uh, check out play on awake as well because we're gonna play it uh, from from our script when we are uh, when we are when we are ready for it. Uh, maybe make it a little bit smaller or oops. Just fiddle around with the. Uh, With the uh, with the settings you want, I think this is pretty uh, pretty good. Maybe a little less radius. I think this looks looks nice. Well, you can make it whatever you want. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it like uh, this. Maybe let's check it. Maybe length scale a little bit less, and then. Increase the radius, uh, reduce the radius more. No, that's not what I want. So I'm going to increase the length scale and increase the radius so it will go a little bit more forward. Okay, maybe the amount of uh, burst is too much. Maybe let's change it to 5 and 15. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna keep it like this. I think I uh, I like this one. Okay, now um, make sure you uh, uncheck looping because we're gonna uh, play it from our, like I said, we're gonna play it from our uh, script. Okay, so now let's open up our, um, let me see, we're gonna need the, um, uh, let me see. Oh, this is a script from another guy I, I was checking, so I'm gonna need to open a, my new. Let's open up the shooter. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna check if the muzzle has the component for the particle system. Uh, if it has it, it will uh, play the effect when we are when we are firing. So let's make a private variable for our particle system. Let's call this muzzle fire particle system. And when we awake, we're gonna check for it. Let's say muzzle particle equals to um, muzzle get component. And we get the particle system from it. Now let's make a new method in our, uh, you know, script for uh, playing the. Uh, it's going to be private, so make a void. Um, let's call it fire effect or something. And basically, we're going to check if the muscle particle system equals no. Just keep it out. Otherwise, we say play, and it will play only. Uh, once because we disabled looping and now when we are firing we say uh, uh, fire effect okay let's see what happens when we uh, run this there we go looks yeah I think this looks pretty well now um, I still have the uh, renderer enabled, so I'm going to disable the renderer for our uh, bullet. 
uh, yeah, our mesh, of course, in the bullet. Let's disable the renderer. And now it would be nice to have some sort of uh, tracer as well. So to do that, let's um, stop the game, drag in the assault rifle bullet, and let's add a new light here, uh, point light. Um, yeah, let's raise it a little bit. Now uh, we might reduce the uh, intensity a little bit maybe like so okay now apply uh, delete it from our scene uh, there we go let's hit play again ah, that's very nice I mean it's not uh, like every bullet in real life has a tracer effect but it really shows a nice effect Okay, well, that concludes this uh, video and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.